ago. General Grievous, Jedi scum. A Clone Wars comic, Star Wars General Grievous, featuring the villain from Revenge of the Sith, written by... Chuck Dixon. Oh, we have Je Oh, and we have a Jedi with a yellow lightsaber, but it's not part of the yellow lightsaber agenda. This is pre yellow lightsaber agenda. Star Wars General Grievous, comic one of four, limited series, script, Chuck Dixon, pencils, Rick, Leonardi, inks, Mark Pennington. All right. Things fell apart rapidly. The rescue mission of Andos was to be simple. To land ahead of the approaching Separatist invasion fleet and bring out Ambassador Quian, we found instead a large force of battle droids awaiting us. The Ambassador was the bait for the trap. A trap sprung upon us by an enemy who has been growing in infamy. We've all heard his name again and again in recent days. So you got, what, three Jedi right here? And a clone, a clone troopers. General Grievous. It was this creature who dogged our withdrawal. He was relentless in his pursuit and personally killed countless troopers and Jedi. Let not one of them leave alive. It's great art, dude. It's a BT. Super battle droids. They got like freaking auto fire. We were down to a desperate few and increasingly outnumbered. Our escape with Quian was in jeopardy. My Jedi master, Chuka Dune, stepped into the breach. Chuka, no! Skilled and courageous, he acquitted himself well. In the end, it was but a forlorn hope. So he and he's a Jedi master, right? Not a freaking apprentice or Padwan, like freaking um. Uh, Ahsoka, right? There is no question that Master Tachuka was a fearless warrior. The force was strong in him on Vandos. His skills were great, but not enough. Grievous made short work of him. Double sliced, bro. Fucking trisected him, right? There was nothing to be done. The ambassador was safely aboard. For all our casualties, we had succeeded. To delay withdrawal would jeopardize everything. It was Grievous we faced. There is no mistaking him. Coruscant. Just as there is no mistaking his danger to the Republic and to the Jedi Order. He has murdered hundreds of our brothers and sisters. Hundreds of our brothers and sisters... Yet he fails to take out Ahsoka Tano. Oh, sorry, guys. Let me get back to the comic. A Kali? A Kali he once was. Flesh and blood, was he? Whatever his origin, whatever his origins, he is an abomination wrought by the Geonosians and the Sith. The near indestructibility of a battle droid wedded to the skills of a deadly warrior. Count Dooku has found a worthy ally. He bested so many great Jedi at Hypori and elsewhere, taking their lightsabers as prizes. Troubling, troubling this is. Master Yoda, Master Windu, and members of the Jedi Council, I suggest we stop reacting to this threat. Instead, we make a concerted effort to remove Grievous from this fight. We have not the forces to spend in a major assault on one sentient. I'm not talking about a military action. A small force of Jedi, no more than a handful, that would infiltrate and target Grievous. You're talking about assassination. Beneath our honor, that is. Murder is. Cowardice, I call it. The Padwan's idea has merit, Master Yoda. Imagine the lives that could be spared. It is an expedient solution. Expedient it is. Concerned himself with ease. Jedi does not. Cold vengeance it is. The path to the dark side it is. Master Yoda, I assure you that it is not revenge that motivates me. I only think that one life may be traded for the lives of many. Passion in the voice there is. Anger below the surface royals. Recall your training, you must. Outside your new master awaits, Flynn Kaibo. With your training, concern yourself. Grievous is fate for the council to determine. It is. Padawan Kaibo? Yes. I am to be your master. I am pleased and honored. I am Zmir Bothu. I look forward to guiding you in the ways of the Force. Are we to begin my training now? Yes. And your first lesson is in silent contemplation. Meditate. Master Zmir, we have been contemplating for hours. What am I supposed to contemplate upon? Master Zmir is deep in her trance, Flynn Kaibo. Master Bedard Tone, you were at Geonosis. Many rejoined the force that day. This is my Padwan, Cody Tai. You come to meditate? To share your thoughts. You survived an encounter with General Grievous? I did, but I am not supposed to speak of it. The Council, I have been told your strategy 
concerning this menace, I have told no one outside of the council. It was revealed to me in confidence. It is, of course, an of action worth considering. It is important that others hear your tale. Other Jedi? The Jedi hold no monopoly on concern for the survival of the Republic. Many of the uninitiated, those outside the Jedi Order, agree with you about Grievous. Grievous is protected by a, a war fleet and countless battle droids. To reach him, one would need to fight through a legion of mechanized might. Robot hand, fucked up face. It would require the full commitment of the Republic's military will for one single being? or a small unit that could infiltrate and get within striking distance. You have seen the general in action. Even then, the battle would be fierce. And he points at himself. Yeah, he's seen the... So Grievous fucked this dude up. At Nadine, he killed my Padawan and left me as you see me now. To attempt this mission is to stand in defiance of the Jedi Council. To stand by to see more of our order murdered. If you believe in this action, then we will meet again. Tomorrow evening, then. The Cantina on Husker Square. Tomorrow evening, then. May the Force be with all of us. Such rebellion, even for one so young. But I thought you were in meditation, not asleep. What am I to do with you, Padwan? You question your betters. You resist their wisdom. You will try to and stop me? I will not. Will you tell the Council? They will know without a word from me. Go, Padawan. Do as you must. But know that you will never be offered a place among the Jedi again. And you may have cause to regret your boldness. And here we got some CIS ships. Joy to cause. Got some Mon Calamaris. Definitely not being speciest in this uh, comic, right? Got lots of species already. We got even got some cyborg shit going on. They're very more diverse than the Acolyte. That's for damn sure. Not concerned with skin color as much as species. This ship stinks of fish, or so I imagine. The Mon Calamari are such disgusting species. Please tell me they are all slain. The ship is taken, General Grievous. A Jedi warrior is aboard. He has been spared as you ordered. Let us inspect him. An abyssin? Grievous. A long, <coughs> a long way the deserts of death. What to do with you? Shall I engage you in your chosen form of combat? Shall I prove once again that I am the superior of any vaunted Jedi? Shall I add your lightsaber to my collection? These words sound tired even as I say them. Kill him. This mission is of vital importance to the Republic. The goods carried by these cargo craft are needed on Alderaan. We are to accompany them in force and keep them from destruction or the hands of the Federation. The most likely place for a trap is upon exiting hyperspace. The Trade Federation has ships and system, but not in great enough number to invade Alderaan. You will deploy your fighters immediately after we made our jump. Your astromech droids are ready and programmed. Draw any droid fighters away from the main convoy. So this is their attack force, right? All these Jedi rebels. Oh, we got a Bith. It's Tenebris' great, 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 great grandson. Master Python, can we expect support from Alderaan itself? We will not. Alderaan does not have a significant military capability. We've got a Duros right there. They rely upon us to do their fighting. Ready yourself for combat, and may the Force be with you. You spoke out of turn, Padwan. I only, only challenge the authority of your betters. Were you scolding him or me, Master Zmir? Padawan Kaibo, you will be deserting before an attack. Do you wish to discourage me, Master? No. I only highlight the gravity of your decision. Oh, see, those aren't the guys that were with him. Never mind. I sacrifice my place in the Order for a greater good. My path is chosen. I will follow it now to the end. Did you hear that? A skittering noise? Some kind of vermin. It came from over there. Jack in the ship. Whoosh. There has been an unauthorized launch. Single passenger craft. It departed Bay 9 without clearance. A Kuat interceptor. One of yours, Python? The influence of the dark side grows. This is not the first of our number to desert in these grave times. It will not be the last. Only days ago, a pair of Jedi went missing without leave. Final approach to Brindar's surface. I have never heard of this world. You have. Brindar is far uh, off the normal shipping lanes. The perfect port for spice smugglers and criminals. And renegade Jedi. But it is important that we keep our true nature a secret, Cody. As you command, Master Tone, I have no wish to jeopardize our mission. Or the lives of our comrades. Were you followed, Batard Tone? By whom? Does it matter? We are enemies to all now. 
What is our next step? To find General Grievous. My astromech is monitoring Federation subspace comms. He could be on any of a hundred worlds. He should not be that difficult to find. After all, Master Bedard, he leaves a trail of dead Jedi wherever he goes. Unless he runs into Ahsoka. This direction, General Grievous. More Jedi filth? Ah, this is why Abyssin fought with such fury. Oh, that's cool, his fucking eyes. A bunch of younglings. One, two, three, four, five, six. Padawan. The very future of the Jedi Order to be continued. Oh, Grievous doesn't operate with piss sabers either. I don't see those in his collection. Not yet. That's all I got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share this out to any and everyone that you think is interested in real Star Wars and real Marvel content. Until next time, see you later.